What does your crazy neighbor do to be labeled the crazy neighbor? She dug up my fancy flowers and replanted them in her own yard. 15 feet away. I felt this. My crazy neighbor took my new blueberry and raspberry bushes and stuck them in her yard. She replaced them with sticks she found. This makes me irrationally angry. I would turn into the crazy neighbor if anyone ever touched my plants. Had a neighbor who wouldn't let anyone use his driveway because he didn't want it to get dirty. Anyone including himself. He parked on the street outside. If he thought you were having a party he would drag a bunch of plastic bags full of god knows what to the end of his driveway so no one could turn around it. One time I came home and he was outside hosing it down in the rain. To his credit, I've never seen a cleaner driveway. Our neighbor would leaf blow during a windstorm. It wasn't autumn so there weren't any leaves on the ground. Just some other debris. Used to live in a little town of 300 people where we had an elderly neighbor named Gladys. She would routinely look near our garbage can outside and take the recyclable bottles and cans we would leave for her. After we cleaned out a fish tank, we put the gravel and fake plants in a bag and left it on top of the garbage can because it was already full. About a week later, Gladys hollered at me while I was outside to come over as she wanted to show me something. She had taken that bag we had left and planted the fake plants along the side of her house. She said she wasn't real confident that they would make it but so far they seemed to be thriving. I could only nod and compliment her on her green thumb. Better than me who just did the opposite. Moved my daughter out of college and stuffed her plastic succulents into a box. Weeks later she asked where the plants were so she could water them. But they actually survived. Tough little things. She has a penchant for going around sticking nails in people's tires at night. This has happened dozens of times to nearly everyone on the street. Though she's slowed down since more people started installing video cams and motion sensor lights in their driveways. Years ago we had a guy in our neighborhood like this. He stopped hitting our house when my crazy A mother came flying out the house around 3am with her baseball bat. Fighting fire with fire. And by fire I mean crazy. And by fire I also mean crazy. Her reasoning? If she's capable of it. She's just one of those misanthropic people who gets a kick out of others' misfortune. She's done it for almost 20 years. Apparently, her favorite night to do it is Sunday, when she also goes picking through people's recycling on the curb for cans and bottles. The lucky people find the nails and screws before they go out driving, but others have had their tires pop on the expressway. My neighbor sits in his yard, hides behind his plants and meows at people who pass by. He is not dangerous at all but he is not right in the head either. His caretakers are his parents and they seem to be very nice people. His dad once told me he just likes to be a cat and left it at that. I didn't ask any more questions. I would also like to be a cat so I see no issue with this. It's all fun and games until he poops in the sandbox. Everybody wants to be a cat. Cause a cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. We had one a while back that had a meth lab in the home. Crazy fights. Yelling at all hours of the night, dude would wander around the hood tweaked out crazy, and once he threw a Molotov cocktail out of the second floor window at another dude who was smashing up his car, screaming, I'll f I'm kill you, moth f -er. those were interesting times, so, he tried to burn his own car to protect it, probably didn't care about the car or it was too far gone and wanted to hit the guy, he eats my flowers, in his defense. He told us that he has been doing it for years when he introduced himself after we bought the house. He also brought over frozen cookies in a plastic bag, as a housewarming gift, but wasn't sure what was in them. We share a side yard and as he was talking to us, I noticed his all brick house, was actually roofing shingles, layered to look like brick. It started to register that he may be a little out there. He's a great neighbor, just an older, eccentric stoner who keeps to himself and eats my flowers no shame, comes over to my yard, and eats my lilies raw, or brings scissors and clips the heads to boil and make jam, it's crazy to me, but we have embraced it, I planted a couple raspberry, blackberry, and blueberry bushes 3 years ago, when we first moved in, on the side yard we share, as well as a few knockout rose bushes, I told him to help himself to berries roses any time, Especially before the birds do. The bushes have all gone insane and the entire side of my house is now a yearly buffet for my neighbor. Having a decent relationship with a crazy guy I share a property line with is worth some dead-headed flowers. Your neighbor might be part goat. You are a good neighbor.
and a smart person who knows the difference between mostly harmless eccentricity and outright madness. If I owned a home, I don't, and knew I was slightly mad, I don't think I am. I'd want someone like you as a neighbor. Pulled us over pretending to be a police officer, saying that we had somehow broken the law whilst pulling out of our driveway and that she was going to call it in. She isn't a cop lol. Pretty sure that's a crime. Not only a crime but a crime that really pisses off police officers. They'll arrest people on the spot for this kind of sh**. Well, I used to have a neighbor who was legitimately mentally ill. Although I don't know his actual diagnosis. His truck wouldn't start one day dead battery. And he told everyone on the street that another neighbor was stealing the electricity. He knew this because of the way this guy parked his vehicle obviously it was sucking electricity from the ground for his battery. Which drained the car batteries near him. Many times he would run down the street and warn everyone to hide their valuables because Japan was invading the country. He wasn't on drugs, but he did take medication for his mental illness and everyone on our street could tell when he stopped taking it. Whenever he would start saying completely irrational things, we would remind him to take his medication, and he would thank us and go home, presumably to take it. He lived alone, and he was getting older, so I think he had a hard time remembering to take it. There were many, many more incidents. Eater, thanks for the rewards. I've never gotten many before this post. I'm glad the neighbors at least cared enough to remind him to take it. I used to live in a hoa. One of the members on the board lived across the street from my neighbor and I. He sent a letter to us saying that we all have to mow the lawn on the same day, at the same cut height, and in the same pattern to create uniformity in the neighborhood. My neighbor and I intentionally cut on different days and in opposite patterns just to annoy the guy. At my last place I had a neighbor that would remo my lawn if my lines weren't straight enough or if I missed a spot. Never found out who it was but that was an incredibly fun summer. Only happened that year too. Next door lady standing on her driveway yelling at me because acorns have fallen from a large oak tree on my property onto said driveway. Demanding that I cause the tree to cease and desist from this intentional criminal activity. Fun fact from a law student. Trees do not in fact have the legal capacity required for intent. Thank god you're a law student. I was stumped. Sounds nuts. Took my parents to court because he lost in our whole chairman election. Some people just have too much free time. He jumped in front of my car while I was driving down the road to yell at me for going through his trash at night. Told him it was probably raccoons. He refuses to believe it to this day. This is my favorite one. Instead of moving his trash or getting locking lids, he stalks your car at night to throw his body in front of it to protest your suspected raccoon-like activities. All the while. The trash pandas are in the background, having a refine field day with his trash. How do we know you aren't a raccoon? A quick look at your name tells me you got it from the trash. How do you explain that HMMMMMMM? He ain't one of ours I can tell ya that. Years ago in rural Arizona we shared a pond with the crazy neighbor. More sad than anything. He was in his 40s and lived with his mother, around 1988. A Vietnam veteran he would walk out to our shared pond with a .45 and a box of 50 rounds. He would then absolutely unload on the pond while yelling, police his brass and walk quietly home. This happened every 90 days for about 3 years. I cared for an elderly woman for many years. She lived to the age of 93 in a crime ridden in a city neighborhood by being as tough and nasty as any criminal living nearby. Her oddest actions involved her incorrect belief that she owned the road in front of her house. She didn't even own a car, but she insisted that nobody park there. She would confront them if they parked in front of her house. If they did it again, she slashed their tires in the middle of the night. Over and over for years, she was never caught, but everybody knew it was her. She only stopped when she lost the physical strength to slash a tire in her mid-80s. Then she started using spray paint on the cars. He don't park in front of my house no more, was all the justification she needed to damage her neighbor's cars. My friends used to live in a gentrifying neighborhood near the beach in my city. They had a regular apartment, but someone bought the building in front of them, beach adjacent, knocked it down, and put up a few luxury homes. This crazy woman bought one. She had a car garage, and a driveway, and best we could tell, she had one car. But no one was allowed to park on the street in front of her house, which was clearly marked as a public street and where people had been parking since forever to go to the beach or because their building didn't have parking. 
we could see the street from their apartment. She went out and keyed any cars parked there. It took a while to figure out it was her, but eventually people saw her doing it. All the neighbors warned their friends not to park there, and people started putting up cameras to get evidence of it. Some dude with a piece of Shuglia's truck started parking directly in front of her house every day just to F with her, because he didn't care if she scratched it up, so she slashed his tires. It got to the point where every time she opened her door to walk outside, neighbors would cuss her out through their windows. One night she went out in the middle of the night, and painted the entire curb on that street red. Someone got it on video, several neighbors called the city, I think she got her talking to and a fine, and she had several insurance claims pending against her from damage to cars, and she finally stopped. Everyone still hates her though, even new neighbors, who are told the story of her from older residents. My sister's neighbor reported my sister to the police because her kids were playing in my sister's garden, not for the usual reasons, too much noise etc. Nope, because a volcano in Italy had erupted and the radiation would hurt them. My sister lives in the UK. Oh mayo. I would have loved to see the police's face when they heard the reason. I would have loved to see the police's face. Likely the 4FS sake not another one of these look. This older lady lives across the street from me and she is obsessed with leaves falling on her lawn. To the point that she will come out of her house and pick up one individual leaf off the grass in the fall, or any other time. She spends hours a day outside with the leaf blower in full. She will go and knock on other neighbors doors if she thinks you have too many leaves on your grass. She'll come over into your yard and do it yourself herself if you're not home. What I think is weird is that she's in her 70s, no kids or grandkids living with her, and lives alone in a pretty large 4 bedroom house with an amazing in-ground pool in the backyard, with a slide and diving board and everything. Nobody has used that pool in at least 5 years yet she opens it up every summer. Somehow she likes my family and has never once yelled at us about our leaves and randomly brings things over like half eaten gallons of ice cream and ask if we want it because she's not using it. Sounds like she's lonely bored. The old lady who lived below me left me multiple cryptic letters blaming me for the birds chirping too loudly in the mornings. Not pet birds, the sparrows and shout side. This went on for months. I used to work nights at a hotel and those were always my favorite calls to get, yes, hello, the crickets outside are really loud and we can't sleep, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, I'll just go have a word with them and see what we can do, this happened disturbingly often, I'm still not sure what they actually expected me to do about this at 1am, yell louder than the crickets so they think twice about calling back, hey I I I I I I crickets, you'll need to shut the f up like right now. People are getting upset about the noise and calling to complain about it, and you are sure that you aren't a Disney princess? When I first moved in my neighbor walked into the house, and announced, when my wife gets home, sometimes she wants to stay in her car having a phone conversation, he will come out and walk down the side of his house, checking his sprinkler controls and looks at my wife, he has a two huge bushes he refuses to cut, it blocks our view of backing out of our driveway. The fire department came by to clear trees and bushes around the fire hydrants. The neighbor came out and yelled at the fireman. This bush is older than you. Needless to say, I hope there are no house fires. She stalks us. Like every time I get home she'll walk outside and tell me I was either 3 minutes later getting home this time or that I'm home 2 minutes earlier and then ask me why. One time my friend and her sister came to pick me up. The neighbor was against her window with her hands and face pressed up on the glass trying to look at who was coming to pick me up. My friend and her sister were so terrified they called me telling me to hurry up bc a crazy lady was staring at them through a window. I replied oh it's just the stalker neighbor. Yeah that was a funny day. I once had a redheaded 5 year old neighbor named Bruce who would do exactly this. I worked at a doctor's office and we had to wear a certain color of scrubs on certain days. So annoying like just pick one color. I sometimes struggled with this and would forget to have the right color washed and ready so would have to wear the wrong color that day. One day I pulled into my driveway after work and Bruce was in his front yard waiting for me. He said, hey you're wearing blue and Wednesday is supposed to be purple. You wore the wrong color today. He must be about 21 now. You were an absolute trip Bruce. Hope everything is going okay. We bought a house and on the day while we were unloading the first truckload, the neighbor came into our garage uninvited and started telling us what trees on our property he wanted us to cut down. 
not the craziest but the fn audacity of some people. You should have planted even more trees. Every day is Arbor Day. B. Not sure if this counts as crazy but I have this neighbor who is part of a spiritual organization called Brahma Cumaris. Every time someone in the neighborhood is going through rough times, especially deaths in the family she goes to their house and instead of offering condolences she preaches how they should join this organization and things will be better. She doesn't acknowledge anyone the rest of the time except the time when someone dies or a new family moves in the neighborhood to whom she preaches and gives books written by leaders of the organization. Had severe anger issues and yelled at anything or anyone he didn't like on the street. A few years ago he had a road rage incident and when he started banging on the other car's windows the occupants got out and beat him badly. During this he had a heart attack and now barely has enough mobility to walk to the mailbox and back. Also he doesn't yell anymore. If you are not ready for face punches you are not ready to punch faces. My neighbor was an 85 year old widow that lived alone. She had two vehicles, a car and truck, and over the course of a few months I realized that she was no longer parking her car in her garage like she had for the many years prior to that. Then suddenly the truck wasn't being parked inside the garage either. Turns out she no longer had room in her garage to park her vehicles because she was walking down to a residential construction site about a block away every evening and she'd grab 2 to X4S and bring them home. She had over 500 boards stacked in her garage and when she was questioned on what she was going to do with it, she didn't have an answer. She knew lumber prices were going to be crazy in 2021. Granny playing the long game. The neighbor behind us had a leak in his water pipe and, rather than fix it, he just had the sump pump drain it out into the backyard. This meant that all year round the back of our yard was a little bit damp. Eventually, the leaky pipe burst and filled the house with 5 feet of water. His solution to this was just to keep the pump running and flood the entire neighborhood. After about an hour, a posse of all the neighbors whose yards were being flooded confronted him and called the city to shut off the water. The city fixed the water pipe and the neighbor ended up with a large fine. At least my yard stays basically dry now. I should also mention that this neighbor once rented the house out to a bunch of crackheads and it nearly burned down because the ex-girlfriend of one of these morons snuck in and set the house on fire. I've heard way more than I need to about their health ailments and bowel movements. One night I'm in the backyard sitting in lawn chairs watching the stars with the wife when she pops out with a flashlight in our faces. I went off. What the fn hell are you doing? She apologized and left with no explanation. I could go on, but then I may start thinking about moving again. Called the police on people parked perfectly legal in front of their house. Took pictures of my partner's dad just working in the yard. Disappeared suddenly without a trace and then suddenly come back home in the dead of night 8 months later. Weirdos. That sounds a lot like jail. Quite possibly for stalking. Yep. Our neighbor would disappear for long periods of time. Cops showed up a lot. I could hear his wife complain that he'd get blackout drunk and his parole officer was unhelpful. His truck was eventually left in the complex lot with front end damage. He was in jail 3 times in 10 months. The last was obviously for a DUI. I had a neighbor like that. He'd come over at random hours of the night, hounding on the door and demanding we move our cars, threatening to call the cops on us. So. We called the cops, and reported some crazy guy screaming nonsense in our yard and trying to kick the door in. Never saw him again, and the new owners of the house were far more pleasant. She calls the city on everything. Ever walk out, look at your yard and think, yep, I need to mow this weekend. That is the point where my neighbor will call the city and complain that my lawn is too long. If I park on the street she will call the cops and complain that my car is an abandoned vehicle. Even though it has current tags and is parked in front of the house it's registered to. The cops got tired of dealing with her and told me I need to park in my driveway and that I cannot park in the street or they to my vehicle. If she sees my dogs outside she calls animal control and claims they are being neglected and abused. She is currently going around the neighborhood telling people that I am poisoning her cats. Which I'm apparently doing a horrible job of since the cats are healthy and very much still around. She is a truly awful person who is very much mentally unstable. She doesn't just do this to me though. Other neighbors on the block complain about the exact same thing. We used to live next to a woman that would have a disco party for her cats in her backyard at 2am every few days. She would put up a disco ball and party lights with music playing. 
It was a little bit odd but what made it crazy was her dancing like a Native American performing a ritual around the disco ball. It's honestly one of the strangest things I've ever witnessed. Does she send out evites or something? How do I get on that list? My house backs up to a resort. I'm slowly accumulating junk cars near the property line. Eventually they'll build a fence. Then I'll get rid of all the junk bam. Free fence. Ah. Are you the crazy neighbor? Former crazy neighbor. Here. I. 23 at the time F. Lived alone in a basement unit in a not great part of town. My bedroom windows. Being in the basement. Lined up directly with a very busy street filled with bars and lots of traffic. While smoking cigarettes on my stoop. I often had a knife or b-ball bat physically with me. To my neighbors. I often referred to live in boyfriend often. Even though I lived alone. At times I would go as far as yelling at my fake boyfriend in my apartment when I heard other people in the hallway. Storming out of the apartment and telling my neighbors what an a-hole my boyfriend was. Also my neighbors believed I didn't live alone. My neighbor in the flat upstairs likes to stand outside my open. Ground floor. Window at 6am and argue with her dog. Like I know you don't want to go home yet. But if you don't stop being a dick you're not getting your sausage roll. Or I'm not the one who wanted to go out. So what's your problem? Happens at least twice a week. 